What's up everyone, Tapedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking once again about the Nintendo Switch and what you can try if it's not turning on. This isn't a guarantee fix, they're just quick and easy fixes that might help you fix your console and it's not going to cost you anything. Why not try a cheap alternative, something that is hopefully going to fix your console. Now, the first thing I'm going to mention, it sounds like common sense, is make sure that the console is charged. I did make a video recently on what to do if your Nintendo Switch is not charging. I recommend checking that out just in case that is what issue you are having, if it's a charging issue. If it's not a charging issue and it still won't turn on and you know that you are using the right stuff to charge it, then I recommend checking out what I'm gonna be sharing. And the first thing is to do a hard reset. It's very simple to do. To do a hard reset, if it's not turning on, all you're gonna do is press and hold the power button for 15 seconds, release it, and then press the power button like you normally would turning it on. Keep in mind, the Switch is not like the PS3 or PS4, which when you're resetting those consoles, you press the power button after however long you're supposed to hold it, it does beep to alert you to let go. The Switch does not beep, there's no sound, there's no notification to let you know, you will have to count the 15 seconds. So, you're gonna press and hold the power button for 15 seconds, after the 15 seconds, you are going to release the button, and then you're going to press it like normal to turn on the console. If your console does turn on at this point, all it needed was the hard reset. It didn't need to go in depth, it didn't need to get all the way to a factory reset, and it didn't need to go in anywhere for repairs. If that was not what fixed your console, I am going to show you how to get to the maintenance screen on your console and hopefully that will fix the issue for you. Now to get to the maintenance mode screen to do one of the factory reset options, like I just mentioned at the beginning of this video, make sure that you charged your console somewhat. That way you know it will hopefully get to that screen and it will at least get that far to do the factory reset. If you are here to factory reset your console for whatever reason, Make sure that your console is fully turned off before you try this method because if it's not fully turned off and it's just in sleep mode, all you're going to do is basically awake it when you try the first step. So make sure it's fully turned off. If it's not turning on, then you're simply just gonna follow along. So you're gonna press and hold the power button, the volume up and the volume down button, all three buttons at the same exact time. It's about three or four seconds that you're gonna be holding it for. You'll see the Nintendo screen, and then you'll see the Nintendo Switch screen. When you see that screen, you're gonna let go, and it should bring up the maintenance mode screen. So you're going to press the power button and the volume up and volume down button, all three buttons. At the same time, you're gonna see the Nintendo screen pop up just like that, and you'll see the second screen pop up. Once you see the second screen, you're gonna release all three buttons hopefully that does launch it into the uh, maintenance mode screen just like so. If it did, great. If it didn't, try to make sure your timing is right. If the second screen is on for too long, it's just going to try to boot up like normal. Or if your console is not working, it's just going to go back to a black screen. If you did get to this screen, great. That means hopefully this will fix it. So the first thing that you can try, the first option is to update it. Of course, it's not gonna show here. First option is to update the system. That's gonna to check to see if there's a system update anywhere. Just like the PS4, if there is an error with the updates or there's a new updates that just got lost somewhere, you can go into the factory reset options and check for system update, which I highly recommend. So first check that, see if there's an update. If it is up to date, then you just move on to the next step. That is to do an up uh, factory reset without deleting all save data. This won't delete any of your save files, stuff like that, but it might not fix the issue. If you have to go this route and do one of the factory reset options, you might as well do the bottom one, which is gonna do a full factory reset. You will lose everything, but it should correct the issue if there is one. Now, by doing that, before you do any of the factory reset options, I recommend if you have a memory card in your console, take it out. That way there's no chance that anything is gonna be erased. You have everything nice and safe and saved onto that memory card. Sometimes if you do a factory reset with the memory card in, it sometimes can erase everything that's on that memory card as well. So keep that in mind. And remember, by doing a full factory reset, you're gonna lose everything. So you're gonna lose save files, stuff like that, but you can log back in and download your games once again, just like any console and be able to do them. If you have them 
Uh, physical copy, all you have to do is insert it and it will download once again. It's just more of a hassle if you have a lot of games having to download them that route. So hopefully that will work for you, whether you're here to just to factory reset your console or if it's not working. If it's not working, sometimes you won't be able to get to the screen. If it, you can't get to the screen, the hard reset didn't work and it is charging and you know it's charging, chances are you do need to take it in somewhere to be repaired and none of these quick fixes will actually help you unfortunately. Now if you just needed to find out how to factory reset your console, hopefully this did help you out and it's really easy to factory reset your console, really easy to do and it doesn't take much time at all. The other thing that I want to mention is sometimes there's an issue with charging and people don't realize there's an issue with charging. They just think the console is broken and it needs to be repaired. In most cases when the screen's black and it's not charged, there'll be a little charge icon in the top corner. One thing that people don't realize is if your console is completely dead, sometimes it won't even show that because there's not enough power to show the charging symbol, but it does still need to be recharged. People just think worst case scenario and just think that they have to take it in repairs and sometimes that's not the case. So first thing to check, make sure that it is charged. Use a Nintendo official charging cable, try that first. Then try a hard reset, that's the power button for 15 seconds and then release and then press the power button again. And then if you can get into the maintenance mode screen, this screen here, try doing either a factory reset or checking for a system updates. Those are, in my opinion, your best options to check. And if none of those work, you will have to likely take it somewhere to be repaired. I think Best Buy still uh, does Nintendo Switch. I heard they were going to be getting rid of it. So they weren't going to be doing repairs. Or there's other places and other people that can fix the Nintendo Switch as well. But try these methods first. That way it won't cost you money. If they don't work, you know you will have to take it somewhere and pay somebody to repair it. But hopefully this has helped you. If it did, leave a like, comment down below, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.